We'll call the ninth regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Frauman? Here. Berg? Here. Bonet? Here. Doyle? Here. Graf? Here. Manny? Excused. Montemayor? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Stephan? Here. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweele? Excused. Wangeman? Excused. Warner? Here. Weininger? Here. Thirteen present. Quorum's present. Alderman Graf? I would move that we um, approve the minutes of the previous Common Council meeting in the same standard, stand approved as entered on the record. Let's move to second that we approve the minutes of the previous Council meeting under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Uh, opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Moody, would you lead us in a pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alderman Baumann recently visited Subami, our sister city, as a representative of the Mayor's International Committee, and he went over there with a group of students, correct, Alderman Ballman? Yes, sir. And you did bring things back that you want to present to the council, so. Yes, I certainly please. do, and thank you. Thank you for the time. <clears throat> um, as the mayor just stated, we, uh, as a group of 12 people, 10 Sheboygan Area School District children and two chaperones, visited our sister city of Subami in uh, Japan. We were there for 13 days, and we in turn, from the city and the International Committee, gave the uh, city of Subami one of the 150th anniversary plates signed by you, Mr. Schramm. And they were extremely impressed when I told him that this was one of 500. He got a big grin on his face, and he said, I would like to present this to the city of Sheboygan. And this is a plaque, and he said, this plaque is one of one. <laughs> <laughs> so needless to say, it was a big difference. So the plaque in itself does state, Sheboygan Sesquicentennial, congratulations on your sesquicentennial. The people of Subami celebrate with you. We look forward to our continuing friendship over the years to come. July 18, 2003, Jinichi Takahashi, Mayor of Subami, to the citizens of Sheboygan from the citizens of Subami. And this is the gift. Thank you, Alderman Palmer. Along with this, I'd like to also present a photograph of the entire group, the mayor holding the plate, in the mayor's office in the city of Subami. Thank you. With that, we'll display it in City Hall. Okay. Michael, tomorrow we'll find a place to display this. Okay, with that we have two notices this evening. We have an ordinance that has been introduced for the vacation and discontinuance of a portion of Wisconsin Avenue, Avenue located west of North 14th Street, west to the Sheboygan River. We have another one, an ordinance has been introduced for the vacation and discontinuance of a portion of an unpaved east-west alley located between North 6th Street and Lake Michigan and Columbus Avenue and Grand Avenue. We also have one hearing this evening. And any interested persons wishing to be heard on a hearing, please step up to the microphone and give us your name and address. It's amend the zoning classification for property located at 3415 Superior, Superior Avenue. Any interested parties wishing to be heard this evening? Any interested parties wishing to be heard? 
Alder McGrath. Your Honor, I move that the hearings be closed. Move to second that the hearings be closed. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. City Attorney, confirmation of appointments. I uh, hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. David Rapinski to be considered for appointment to the Citizens Advisory Committee on Community Development to fill the unexpired term of Teresa Blundell, does not meet residency requirement, whose term expires 4 30 at 2004, signed by the mayor. Alderman Graff. Your Honor, I'll move that the appointment be confirmed. Moved and second that the appointment be confirmed. Under discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Public forum, Pat? No one. Alderman Graff, consent agenda. Your Honor, thank you. At this time, I'd like to pull forward item number 948. <clears throat> this is regarding the, um, the authorizing, authorizing an issuance and providing for the sale of $1,740,000 bond anticipation notes, series 2003B for to district number six. At this particular time, I would move that that resolution be put upon its passage. Move to the second resolution be put up on this passage under discussion. Alderman McGrath, would you just explain, because I was asked today also, and I did explain to, to Bob, but what this 1700000 is going for, or Tom? Uh, this is a breakdown on part of the larger borrowing, but what's this portion going for? As soon as I find it in the north. It's for... Um, gonna get, I'm going to get some to speak all rich. Okay. It's in your first whereas. But it's, I believe it's for the... Um, it's in your the first whereas. Yeah, it is for the infrastructure, but what part, I guess? Rich? Yes, this is for mainly for the uh, streets projects and for the um, storm sewer, sanitary sewer, and the South Pier public improvements. Um, also includes street lighting, some filling work. I can go through the individual numbers for each one of the projects, maybe it cares for that. I don't know if that's necessary, but just so okay. everyone knows right. what that portion is for. Thank you. Yeah, and then also every older person has a copy of this memo on that, which breaks it down okay. into the individual fees. And so. Thank you. We have a resolution before us. If there's no other discussion, Alderman Bowman? No. Just turn it on. Okay. Thank you. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Bird? Aye. Bonet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weininger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carried. Okay, Alderman Graf, back to you. Consent agenda. Thank you. Your Honor, from items 9-1 through 9-39, I would move that all ROs be accepted and filed, all RCs be accepted and adopted. We pass the resolutions and the general ordinance. Move to second that all ROs be accepted and filed, RCs accepted and adopted, passed the resolutions and ordinances. Alderman Stephan, under discussion. Uh, yeah, I'd like to pull forward 929. 929. Okay. I guess I, I have a question and a statement. I'll make all the questions first. Um, when we were negotiating the order cost contact, I mean, you know, I don't want to go through the whole thing again, but I was under the impression that, you know, when they felt they could justify a raise, they would come to us, and they've done that. But as I checked around, I was told it's kind of like just a formality. They're letting us know we really have no choice in accepting the matter. I mean, we're not okaying it. We're just saying, yeah, you told us. Is that pretty much, I mean, I, I was under the impression that we had to actually okay their raises, and then I'd be told now that that's not actually the case. That's not the case, uh, all of them stuff. Okay. So basically, they, all they have to do is let us know and they can charge whatever they want. Because I mean, right. I'm just concerned, you know, they got 8% earlier in the year. Basic life support emergency gets another 15%. Now it's a 23% hike. And the beautiful part for us is, you know, everybody can say tax freeze, tax freeze. Guess what? We didn't do it. You know, they're doing it. And all these people who thought it was a wonderful thing to get it out of the government, got it out of our control, and they're still paying more one way or the other. You know, all they think about is their tax roll, their tax roll, their tax roll. But we can take every, everything we have and privatize it, take it out the tax roll like we did this. 
and we could just expect to get 23% raises every year. I think this is ludicrous. I think I certainly wouldn't have approved it, I mean, had I known that we had no say in the matter. And I think the citizens out there who were overwhelmingly for keeping Orange Cross, don't fix it, not broken now. I hope they realize that they're paying for this. You know, we're not doing it, we have no choice. They wanted it, they got it. And yet, we can go to sleep at night and say, we didn't raise your taxes for the ambulance service. Okay. I would request a separate vote on it. Okay. That's the reason people don't pay the bills. Okay, well, let's do that one first, then, if you want a separate vote on it. Uh, Mr. Doesn't need a roll call. Voice vote? Mm -hmm. no, I don't think. Okay, all in favor of passage of 929? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Roll call. Bonnie? No. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? No. Moody? No. Perez? No. Rinfleisch? No. Stephan? No. Van Akron? No. Warner? No. Winninger? No. Bauman? Aye. Berg? No. Three ayes, ten noes. Motion failed. What do you want me to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> it stays, no. it stays in the committee folder. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't know that we can do anything. It doesn't do anything. It's more of a symbolic vote that we're right. doing now, letting Orange Cross know that we're not particularly thrilled that they were uh, that they increase rates uh, rather quickly and that they have the ability to do that without any input from the council. So I, I think it's just more a symbolic vote to them, but there's nothing we can do. But I have to do something with the paper. Still have to file it or something. I would make a motion. Move to file. Just to file, not accept and adopt. Okay. Second? Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Discussion is healthy. Alderman Warner. I thank you, Your Honor. I was going to speak about that too, but since we filed it. Okay. <laughs> okay, is there anything else from nine Alderman Perez? Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to make a couple of comments with respect to 921 and 929. I'm sorry, 928. Okay. With respect to 928, and I'm not asking for a separate vote or anything like that, uh, but with respect to 928, uh, just wanted to say that uh, it's about time we've made that change. I think it's a very, very well needed change there. With respect to 921, we had a situation where the inspection department requested a, a position to be filled that has been vacant for quite a while. I uh, debated the issue that, it, that we should provide that position if we're going to ask our inspectors to, to do the work that's being asked of them. I notice now that it's up for discussion again, uh, salary agreements, and I'm glad it is. Hopefully it will be passed this time. Uh, we really can't give our inspection department all the work that we're giving them and not giving them the people to do it with. I think that's a mistake on our part. My other question was with respect to the process that's involved here, is it is it the same process that's going to be followed that's followed now where you write a letter to them, they have so many days to comply and so forth? I'm not qualified to answer that one. <coughs> for this position you're talking? No, for that, 921. For, Keeping for the, the neighborhood the clean. The are going to be issuing citations. Oh, okay. Uh, how, who wouldn't know on that one? Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. They, they, right now they're not prepared to issue citations but they hope to be up and running by October 1st or somewhere around there, Paulette, they're going to have to go through some training. Although the ordinance already stands that they have the responsibility and the legal right to write these citations, they haven't been doing it because they haven't had the time and things like that. And Paulette is working on set, setting something up to get some training for the inspectors so that when they go out there, they're writing the tickets properly. And uh, that should take till about October, we figure, and they'd be up and running by then. And I would also like to say that I agree that when you look at document 9-1, building inspection is one of the few departments in the city that basically pretty much pays for itself in, in the fees and charges that come into it. And a lot of times with some of the issues we've dealt with lately in, the, in our neighborhoods, uh, in cleaning them up and removing some of the vehicles from the streets and all these things, that all falls under building <coughs> inspections to a certain point, uh, uh, responsibilities. And 
we have to really consider that position in building inspection. It's very important in dealing with a lot of the things we've been talking about in the last month or two in the city. If I may, Your Honor, thank you. I, I support I support the RC. My, my concern here was simply that if we follow the process that I believe is in place now, there's going to be a lot of people out there who are going to be asked to do some repairs on their homes, siding, windows, yep. uh, roof, and so forth. That is going to cost people a lot of money. A lot of times it's not that people don't want to do it, it's just they don't have the funds. So there's a, a grace period there where they could put together a plan that says within a year or six months we'll be able to do this. Then people can, nowadays a lot of people don't even have jobs anymore, so where are they going to get the money? Uh, it's a great idea because I'm very familiar with, with the problem that we have. People who, who don't keep their yards clean, but there's things that we can cite people for. If they don't cut their grass, they don't clean their yards, it doesn't cost them any money. They should be cited for that. But there's things that's going to cost a lot of money that we need to be sensitive to our residents. So I would ask that uh, the inspections department consider that when you put together the process. Thank you. You're welcome. I would hope that the department, Alderman Warner and Paulette, that on the individual basis when each issue comes in that you take a good look at on the individual basis, each problem out there. I also agree with you two guys. I, the last meeting, so I agree with this meeting, um, it was under the understanding Paulette and Pete did sit down with me and talk about this position, but nothing came in in writing to the committee. And that's why it wasn't approved. Uh, now Paulette's coming in with a plan for restructuring in her department, so I would hope the committee would take a good look at this position, sell agreements, and see what we can do with that. It doesn't pay to give our inspectors citation powers if you don't have inspectors to carry them out. So. Hang on, Alderman Warner. Alderman Reinflesch. I, I guess I'm just looking for clarification from something that was said earlier. Um, the, the policy is on the books of what they can cite, how much what the due process is for those cited. That, that's somewhere on the books, correct, from prior. Right. So we're not creating and enacting something that, you know, I'm, I'm concerned, when I don't have the black and white in front of me, I'm concerned about giving somebody powers or, or so on. So you're saying that it does exist, we're just yes. allowing them to do so. Okay, yes. and I do urge also that we reconsider that position and hope that uh, we feel that, uh, especially with the, all the development that will be going on here, uh, the building inspector, not only with our existing plants, want to make sure that all of our new developments are also up to code as well. Good. Alderman Warner, back to you. I think uh, most of these situations that we're probably talking about, about are gonna come underneath the housing inspection uh, person. And what ends up happening there is they, they do get a letter and they get a certain period of time. I forget if it's two weeks or 30 days. And, and there's, there's uh, things set in, uh, in the city through Pete Fullerton where uh, the renewal administrator, which he is not anymore, but he still does the job, I believe. Uh, where funds are available for people who can't afford things and stuff, and they would work with them on that. It's not something we're gonna go out there heavy-handed. What happens right now is they haven't been writing the tickets, so these things just never get done at all. So yeah, it's, it's a difficult situation like that. And in this case, they really won't be doing anything different except for writing that citation, and that'll be a quicker process than the way it sits sometimes now. It takes a long time to get it through the county and city attorney's office and everything. If you notice on here, there's a lot of times where certain fees are paid off to the county for every case they handle and things like that. So we have a lot of issues there. Thanks. Okay. Okay, if there's no other discussion, any other audit? All on the ground. Thank you, Colonel. I just want to um, bring to the attention um, 936, which is an RC by Public Protection and Safety, um, entering into an agreement to provide school liaison officers. Uh, this is an issue that has been already sent to uh, strategic fiscal planning regarding um, a possible cost reduction measure that we should look at, uh, whereas uh, police officers could be on the street rather than helping out the school system, and the school system would have to um, supply their own liaison officers using either retired officers or, or something like that. So it's just to keep everybody informed that this is one issue that we're voting on for 2003, 2004, but in 2004, for the fall um, classes, uh, we may have to look at this as a position that may have to um, remain in the city rather than uh, helping out the school system. School department, or school system was already notified about that no, discussion. Okay. <clears throat> All right, if there's no other discussion. Try it. Healthy discussion, it was good. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Doyle? Graf, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Moody, Aye. 
Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Stefan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Thalman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carry. 940 to be referred. 941 through 947 to be referred. 948, we already passed. 949 will be referred to Strategic Fiscal Plan. 950 by Alderman Van Akron, Wangaman, Winninger, Manny, and Perez, authorizing the Chief of Police to hire two new police officers in early January of 04. Would you like to take all three, Alderman Van Akron? Yeah, I'll take all three of them. 50, 51, and 52. 52 is uh, Public Works getting three laborers in the streets and a foreman. And reorganization there also. And yet they're reorganizing the people and move a couple people around. Okay. And the other one is a uh, director of the final position of one program analysis in the division meeting. Okay. I move that the committee report be set to adopt it. And one thing before that, if you look at these, most of all of them have given up men and money. One reason why we didn't, and the other one, which now she's going to give up a position, was voted down. These are all reorganizations on all three. <coughs> and one thing else that uh, all TOs will stay on the um, thing, but will be not budgeted for this next year. All personnel will stay on the TO, but you won't be budgeted. The ones you guys didn't fill. Okay. Alderman McGraw. Yeah. We'll and next we'll step. Step. They're going to stay on the TO, but they won't be budgeted Which for the open positions. Budgeted. The open positions that we they didn't fill. Oh, right. They'll, those will so remain on the, on the TO, right? Correct. That is correct. But I have a question, uh, and I don't know, Alderman Van Ackman, if you can answer this or if I need to talk to um, someone in uh, Public Works. Uh -huh. but. The reorganization, what kind of savings will that result in? <clears throat> what, what benefits is 270? Roughly? Over, over 2000. Yes. It was over $270,000 for 04, the benefits. For the, the reorganization that yes. you're talking about here, filling and, and And the positions that we're not filling. Oh, and, and then, then, yes, total. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea with just the, um, the reorganization itself rather than? With the reorg itself, it's $66,000 plus benefits. Okay. Thank you. That probably close to 90. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of them, Stefan? Uh, just a question. Um, I'm not against the hiring of new police officers. But I just want to clarify with what Alderman Gross said. If, if that does go through with the liaison officers, if, I guess there's two options. You know, the school system could decide to fund the four, and then we wouldn't have a problem. If they wouldn't, you know, then those would come back in the TO, and we might not need to hire any, I guess. And I'm just. There's still a couple open positions that we didn't fill. Okay, but that's four. There's four liaison officers, right? Correct. But, you know, still so, but I mean, I assume there might be some retirements. I think there's, there's high four school, middle schools. I thought, there was, I thought there was one sharing. Oh, that schools? could be. I thought there were only three. All of them in Akron. But even with uh, them coming in, they're still empty on the TO. They're only taking two out of the four. Okay. I need a motion, all of them, Van Akron. First, I don't think we had a motion for passage of this. He made a motion for, for an RC, but there's no RC, See. just three resolutions. Just three resolutions. I had made a motion that three resolutions be put up on spastic. Okay. Now, under discussion. Alderman Warner. Under discussion, Your Honor, I just want to make it clear that the school system does pay 50% of the yep. wages and benefits of, of the officers that are lies on officers. Uh, we could, could have taken this out, I would, I would imagine, but we, we would be paying 100% of their wages and benefits at that time, which probably wouldn't be a good idea. And I would also like to make it known that there has been a change this year, and the school system is aware of it, that these officers will be available at any time should the chief deem that they have to be taken from the schools and put on the streets. So they're going to be a lot more active than they were in the past, and there may be times when, if the city would need them that they'd be taken out of the schools and put on the streets. So there are some slight changes in the contract that make it a little bit more doable. And I think they are of value to the city. You never really know 
when you look at something like this, if someone was helped, prevented from going further with something, uh, crime, drugs, whatever could be happening. And I think it's a, a more of a preventive and intervention type of program with the lives and officers, and I think it's good for the city overall if we can maintain it. I believe we're already started refresher courses. Alderman Warner, correct? Yes. Okay. Alderman Doyle. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm confused, Alderman Groff, because I thought f from our discussion at Finance that these three were going to go to Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee and not be implemented this year. No. Now, these documents are coming out of salary and grievance. Right. They are not. We did not have those even in Strategic Fiscal no, Planning. No, but, but we did, did talk about them, and I, I said, question them with regard to is salaries and grievances uh, doing long-range planning for us in terms of the budget year or is strategic fiscal planning doing long-term budget planning for us and unless I misunderstood you you indicated that these issues would be settled by strategic fiscal planning committee but apparently they're not the, uh, the, the recommendation, the strategic fiscal planning recommendation was that salary and grievance should review all the open positions with the department heads requesting them <coughs> so that by August 8th we would know which ones they required being filled and so forth. So strategic fiscal planning made that recommendation to salary and grievance. They did that and they're coming back saying, okay, of the 18 open positions that we had, we feel that these need to be filled. That was for budget purposes only. Yeah. But they're only going to be filled for the remainder of the year, apparently, and no. strategic fiscal planning is going to determine whether they're budgeted for next year or not, or they're budgeted for next year. For next year. These t this evening will be budgeted for, for next, next year. year. Anything not filled, <coughs> that must be like 11, um, not filled, will not be budgeted in 2004, but will remain on the TO. How about the police liaison officers? Because you're sort of indicating that that there's thinking going on about those, but yet Alderman Warner is saying that... Uh, that's a recommendation that's coming to Strategic Fiscal Planning about the liaison, liaison officers in 2004. Now, approving this tonight will result in that contract being approved, which is covering the 2003-2004 school year. Is that correct? Yeah. So, um, Another contract will be coming up in um, at this time next year, which um, has to be looked at again. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I, I beg your pardon for speaking so much on this, and I, and I know it's probably irregular, but uh, that is for this year and the fall of next year and next summer we'll be looking at another contract, uh, and at that time there may be some changes. And we have to give the school system far enough advance notice so they know how to plan also with their officers, if we're going to have them or not. So that's where we're at. All right. If there's no other discussion, Pat, would you call the roll? Groff? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Warner? Aye. Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonnet? Aye. Doyle? No. 12 ayes, 1 no. Motion carried. 953 through 55 will lie over. 56 through 58 to be referred. 59 and 60 lie over. 61 to be referred. 738 by City Plan Commission recommending filing documents relative to the vacating a portion of Wisconsin Avenue located west of North 15th Street, <coughs> west of the Sheboygan River. Alderman Orner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. On that, I would make a motion to accept and file the RO. Second. Okay, you want to take 739 along with it? It's a different. Uh, can I, Pat? She can go right down as long as it's Oh, you can. The first one doesn't need a roll call. The other two need a roll okay, call. Okay, well, let's just do this voice vote on this first one, then we'll okay. go on to the next one. We have a motion before us, accept and file our roll. Is there any discussion? Alderman Van Akron. Yeah, I have one question. Back here on the notice, we see 
West of 14th Street. It was a typo. We see West of 15th Street. It's 15th Street. It was a typo. I already made the correction on my, uh, my copy. I don't know where that is, and you're not going to cut off 14th Street. No, no. It wasn't. Oh, we're not going to do it anyhow. They're, they're not allowing it to happen. It's not going to be vacated. Yeah, we're going to have to make him eagle eye. It, so. it was a typo, though. Good one. Okay, if there's no other discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 739 RO by City Plan Commission recommending vacating the unpaved east west alley located between North 6th Street and Lake Michigan and between Columbus Avenue and Grand Avenue. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Can I take 827 also? Yeah. Yes. On that, I would make a motion to accept and file the ROs and that the ordinance be put upon the passage. Second. Move to second that you accept and, fi accept and file both ROs and the ordinances be put upon their passage. Under discussion? Under discussion, Your Honor, on uh, number eight, or 739 on that one, it's a very thin strip of land that has never been improved. And uh, that'll take care of that one there and put it back on. People have been using it but not paying any taxes on it, and so this will change that. And then 827, Your Honor, that is the rezoning of 3415 Superior Avenue from urban residential to Class SC Suburban Commercial. And that entire area out there has been changing. Uh, over the years into a more commercial area, and this is in keeping with that trend. Okay. Okay. There's no other discussion. Pat, would you call the roll? Rhonda Mayer? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonnet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 841, resolution by Alderman Groff, Winninger, Stephan Bonet, authorizing a transfer appropriations in the 2003 budget. Alderman Groff. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that that resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's moved and seconded. Resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carried. Bear with me here. We have to jump down to 964. It has to be passed before 461. So it's a resolution by Alderman Groff transferring funds to establish appropriations for public improvements in TID 6. Alderman Groff. You know, first of all, I need to ask for suspension. Sorry. Is there any objections to suspension? Hearing none, proceed. Then I would move that that resolution be put upon its passage. Moved and second, a resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll? Perez? Rinfleisch? Stephan? Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carried. Okay, going back up to 461, by the committee on public works, recommending entering into a contract for South Pier District Utilities and Street Paving Project. Alderman Bauman. Thank you, Your Honor. This would then be the uh, resolution for the uh, 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 TID-6. I move then that the report of officer be accepted and placed on file and that the resolution be put upon its passage. Thank you. Move to second RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Rinfleisch? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 962 will lie over. 963 will be referred to public works. Steve? Nine. 965 is a communication from Lori Cassidy relative to the need for additional signs at the boat launch parking lot. <coughs> and 960, oh. Oh, hang on. 965 will go to Public Works. <coughs> okay. 966 is a resolution authorizing an extension of the lease with the Sheboygan Child Care Center for the property at 1116 Huron Avenue to February 29, 2004. And that will go to Plan Commission. <coughs> Move to second adjourn under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye.
Deber. Aye. Eber. Aye. Doyle. Aye. Moody. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 1248 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. 1249 will go to Finance. 1132, a resolution by Alderman Schultz authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of Anthony W. Rozek versus Kevin Greenwald. Alderman Schultz. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the resolution be put upon its passage. Moved and seconded a resolution. Second, Moved and seconded a resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Carrie Nunn, would you call the roll, please? Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? No. D. Van Akron? No. T. Van Akron? No. Vanderwill? No. Longerman? No. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Deberg? No. Eberg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? No. Eight ayes, seven noes. Passed. Motion carried. Motion carried. 1133, resolution by Alderman Schultz and Berg and T. Van Akron accepting the St. Nicholas Hospital PHN Healthcare Network through search as the preferred provider network for the city's medical benefit plan. Alderman Schultz. Thank you, Your Honor. On this one, also.